Hey guys, it's Rameth from the MicMic.com. Hey, I'm going to create a quick video for you here on how to flash uh, a ROM utilizing uh, Jade Boy 7's or uh, was Mitchell, uh, Mitchell 7's guide. Uh, uh, originally, I think Jade Boy cleaned it up a little bit, made a, maybe a couple of uh, changes to it. But I'm going to show you guys how to flash a ROM. I'm going to be flashing 461 today, uh, McFroyo 461. Um, I've got a running version of the 4.6 final here, customized the way that I like it, some different widgets, semi clock, Palmary Weather, Android Agenda uh, widget um, that is scrolling, and uh, using Launcher Pro. So the first thing we're going to do, I've already uh, run Titanium Backup and backed up all my apps. I've run uh, uh, backup, My Backup Pro to back up my SMS messages. It's what I like to use for text messages and uh, bookmarks. So that's done. So the first thing we're going to do is go into, boot into recovery. And we're going to perform our wipes as uh, uh, our wipes and prep the phone for the, uh, for the installation of the updated 461. Okay, guys, so we're in recovery now. I'm using um, uh, Amon RA or Amon Ra. As you can see down here at the bottom, I'm using the uh, Hosmod uh, Revision A. Uh, that's a, a, a mod of Amon, Reco uh, Amon Ra Recovery. Uh, it has an SD uh, fix in it as well as a couple other changes. I, uh, I'll post the links in the video to the uh, uh, change log for that. The first thing that we're going to want to do is going to go down and we're going to we're going to perform an Android uh, backup just in case I want to go back to this setup. So you'll see automatically we have boot system data checked um, as far part of the uh, Android. I'm going to go down and choose my SD extension as well and my Android secure as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and perform the backup. As you see, anything in uh, recovery will always give you the option down here at the bottom. You know, you've chosen to do something. Do you actually want to do it? You have to hit the uh, power button to confirm. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'll pause the video now. And um, once the uh, backup finishes, I will pick back up. Okay, guys, so we're back. That uh, Nandroid backup took uh, about four and a half minutes, a little longer than four and a half minutes. Now we're uh, prepared to go ahead and uh, wipe our phone uh, and install 461. So we're going to come down to the wipe menu. Um, there are many options out there. I've got uh, the VR, I think it's Viruses Super Wipe, as well as uh, Calculin's uh, Clear All. Um, on here, uh, I much prefer, and, and as a rule of thumb, always use Amon Ron, just use the white menus here. Um, I'm going to first do a uh, all user data factory reset and wipe the phone. You will see that that will run through and wipe the uh, data, the Android secure cache, and the SD EXT. So I've got an EXT3 partition on this phone, and I do run uh, Apps 2 SD Dark Trimmers. Um, so we'll wipe that. Uh, I usually run that twice. You should notice that the second time it goes a little bit quicker than the first time. It's generally a good sign. It shows that you know the wipe is kind of taking place. Wiping uh, in on an Android phone, and I, I think in Linux in particular, um, not completely positive, but I think in Linux in particular, is different than formatting in um, Windows so it's it's not doing the same things it's doing something a little bit differently um, do Google search you can check it out as you could see now I'm gonna go down through and wipe data wipe cache and I kinda of follow through and just do uh, everything once again again wiping uh, more than once is always uh, desirable I'm gonna come down to Android secure uh, that is where Angry Birds and so forth is installed I'm gonna wipe the boot very very quick 
system. This one will generally take a little bit of time. Uh, this one's a little bit longer when it goes to wipe system. You'll see it takes a couple of seconds. Um, this is where I'll change. So you notice I've used the down arrow key on all these so far. This time I'm going to use the up arrow key and come up to the SD extension. You'll notice between system and SD extension is SD card. Folks, we do not want to wipe that. That's where all of our uh, ROMs and our folders and our music and our ringtones and everything is stored is on that SD card. You want to make sure that you never wipe that unless you're uh, formatting and starting completely from scratch and you have everything backed up on your computer. So I'm going to wipe the SD extension though. I will do the battery stats, but only after I've done a full charge. So I've gone through and pretty much wiped everything now multiple times and I'm comfortable flashing the new file. So I'm going to come down to the flash menu now, and I'm going to choose a zip. One of the things that I found that works really well is because you've got a long list of things here on the uh, SD card of where to go and choose my flashes. I created a folder on my SD card called number one flash, and inside of that folder are all of the things that are flashable. So I've got uh, boot animations in there. I've got different mods for different types of ROMs. You can see I've loaded Destroyer's ROM by Magnus. Uh, I've loaded MUI a couple times, or my UI. Not sure how that's pronounced. Um, I'm just not an iPhone guy. It just doesn't work for me. Um, it's kind of cool if you put a different launcher on it. It seems pretty smooth. There's a lot of things that don't work with it yet. 4G obviously does not work with it. Potentially may never work with it. Um, so it's a little difficult, but... Uh, I've got fonts in there. I've got McFroyo mods, which are awesome. Uh, recoveries, apps to SD, a couple of kernel folders, um, and what we need right now, which is a ROM folder. And I'm going to come into the ROM folder and I'm going to choose McFroyo 46.1 or 4.61. It's going to ask me, am I sure I want to do this? And I'm going to press the power button and say, yep, I'm sure. Because everything that Mick makes is amazing. As part of the uh, the next step of this, and and this is there's always been a lot of discussion around this on the forums. I've noticed both on XDA and even uh, at the MCMIC now. Um, once you flashed a ROM, uh, there seems to be debate sometimes whether you can um, flash the ROM, re whether you should reboot the ROM, and then go back into recovery and flash a kernel, or whether you can do them in the same recovery session. I've had really good luck. Um, actually flashing the ROM and flashing the kernel in the same recovery. Then going to boot into the ROM, uh, you know, set your Gmail account up uh, on the phone, let that back, uh, you know, fully sync, um, and then go back into recovery and, uh, you know, um, flash any themes or mods that you would want at that point. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to flash this ROM, let it finish doing what it's doing. We're going to flash my favorite kernel, uh, which is 132, which is an SBC kernel. Um, seems to work really, really um, well with my phone. So I'm going to come down to choose zip from SD card now that the ROM is done. I'm going to go back into one flash. I'm going to go up to kernel sense. And I'm going to find 132. As you can see, I've got a lot of different NetArchie kernels on there. Um, I've got some Ziggy kernels on there. Uh, these are just storage. I'm going to choose the 132 and flash it. Kernel flash is usually very quick. It's done. And I'm going to return and then I'm going to reboot the phone and let it boot into the new 46.1. And we're going to see uh, what we'll see here. So we'll let this run, check out the boot animation. Um, boot in for the first time. The first boot, guys, can take a, uh, a very long time. It's rebuilding cache. Um, setting things up for the first time and kind of getting them all in the proper place. Uh, with an ODEX ROM, it seems to be much quicker than it is with the DODEX ROMs. Uh, I think guys, uh, in the new guide that Jade Boy has created, it actually alludes to in there and kind of lets you know that with uh, an ODEX ROM, there's really not the apps that are using ODEX uh, do not create Davlet cache. So um, your Davlet cache should be significantly smaller in an ODEX ROM than it is on a DODEX ROM. Therefore, the need not to move it to uh, either your SD card or into the um, the data partition, I believe, is where we were putting that before. Or, I'm sorry, the cache partition. We can leave it on the data partition now because it's much smaller.
pretty quick. Took about a uh, minute and 40 seconds to boot up all the way. Um, as you can see, it's got the uh, stock uh, screen to pull down on there, as well as the stock animations up here at the top. The very cool green. Oh, looky there. Another nice little addition. Little Roadrunner. It's booting into the uh, ROM. And here it's going to ask us for our uh, setting up our uh, our Google account. I'm going to go ahead and get that done here. Um, as I'm going to run 46.1. Let me pull this off screen. I'm going to set this up and I'll be right back. Signing into the uh, Google account. That is all done. I'm going to click finish setup. Um, I'm not going to set anything else up. I'll set up Facebook and, and Twitter and the other things that I use later. I'm going to go ahead and click finish now uh, so that it boots into the phone. So you see this is the first time run. Uh, very stock looking. We've got the stock rosy down here at the bottom. The uh, home screen uh, little window that pops up. We've got our icon set up as normal. The very uh, familiar HTC clock. You can see my sync icon is up there running at the top. Uh, the uh, Google uh, Gmail and so forth is syncing. You can see that we have, let's see here, Sprint TV, Sprint Navigation, um, NASCAR, all the Sprint uh, apps are set here, footprints um, that come with the uh, the ROM. These are uninstallable now. Um, there's the camera popping in. You just heard an email come in. Camera starts up. It's showing black because it's laying on it. Um, there are some emails that are coming in. Notification uh, screen looks good. I've got a text a message that came in as well as well as some emails. We've got our uh, power control widgets here built into the ROM. Uh, wireless GPS and all of that. Don't have wireless set up yet. I will set that up here in a few minutes. So at this point, what we'd want to do is um, reboot the phone, bring it back up, and do our restore, um, which I'm going to do, but I'm going to create a, uh, a different video for that. Uh, that's how to flash uh, McFroyo 4.6.1. Let's go into the About phone and kind of take a look and see what we got here. So as you can see, I'm running the, this is my uh, 132 SBC uh, kernel that's running, McFroyo 4.6.1. All of the, uh, I'm running the latest uh, PRI and PRLs. I believe that's the latest PRL. Uh, definitely the latest PRI. Um, all the radios are updated to the latest ones. Uh, so that kind of shows you everything that's there. Thanks, guys. Look for more videos to come soon. Have a great day.